Wednesday, the 27th of March, 2024 of Holy Week. Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you had once perfectly entered into the interior of Jesus and tasted a little of his ardent love, then would you care but little for yourself or your own convenience or inconvenience, but would rather rejoice at reproach, for the love of Jesus makes a man despise himself. Daily Prayer God, our Father, we are exceedingly frail and indisposed to every virtuous and gallant undertaking. Strengthen our weakness, we beseech you, that we may do valiantly in this spiritual world. Help us against our own negligence and cowardice, and defend us from the treachery of our unfaithful hearts, for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word When our Lord foretells His own betrayal, it is because He still loves Judas. It's as if Jesus is saying, I already know what you are planning to do. I know your problems, your evil intentions, your secret sins. Yet still I am here with you. Since I already know, why continue in this way? It is not too late. And when the others heard the prediction, instead of becoming defensive and proud, they might have said, Don't let it be me, Lord. By your mercy, sustain me. Give me your grace, Jesus, I love you. Judas's final betrayal was to refuse God's mercy, to collapse in on himself in despair. If we turn frequently to Jesus asking for his mercy and for the grace to persevere, We have nothing to fear. The Epistle My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The third oracle of the servant of the Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah chapter 50 verse 4. The Lord has given me a well-trained tongue, that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right, let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 69 Responsorial verse Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons. 
because zeal for your house consumes me and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart and I am weak. I look for sympathy, but there is none, for consolers, but no one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad, you who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Gospel Acclamation Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Hail to you, our King, obedient to the Father. You were led to your crucifixion like a gentle lamb to the slaughter. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Gospel The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 26, verse 14. One of the twelve who was called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priests and said, what are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him. The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him, one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you. Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. Matthew chapter 26 verse 23 When the Easter Triduum starts tomorrow, You'll have three whole days to ponder and read through the story of Jesus' passion and death. In fact, you can begin with today's gospel, 
And what better way to reflect on these readings than to place yourself right in the middle of the action. Start by asking God to be with you in your reflection. If you can, close your eyes and try to imagine the sights, sounds, or even smells of the scene as you join the Apostles at the Last Supper. Read through the passage slowly and stop whenever something stands out to you. Stay with it for a while. There's no need to rush. Ask God to help you come to know Jesus better as you spend time with His Word. Imagine yourself at that table with Jesus. You have been close to Him traveling with Him, learning from Him, and seeing Him perform all kinds of miracles. You've shared countless meals with Him, and now you're excited to celebrate the Passover with Him and the other Apostles. But during the meal, Jesus looks around the table with sadness and says, One of you will betray me. Matthew chapter 26, verse 21. You inhale sharply and look around. It could be any one of you at the table. No wonder you and the others are perplexed. Soon everyone, including you, is asking, Surely it is not I, Lord. Matthew chapter 26, verse 22. No one stands out as the obvious betrayer. You examine your heart to consider the tension between loyalty to Jesus and your own self-interest. While you want to reject the possibility that you would betray Him, you know that your faith isn't as strong as it could be. What do you think the Lord is showing you in this scene? Did anyone stand out to you? Speak to him about it and resolve to hold on to it throughout the day. Contemplating the scripture in this way can help you see the events of Jesus' passion, death, and resurrection with fresh eyes. It can draw you into a deeper love for him and a greater gratitude for all he endured for you. Lord, let your word lead me closer to you. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.